Hey friends, today we're going to be drawing an elf stack. With a folding surprise. We hope you're going to follow along with us. You need a marker, some paper, and something to color with. You ready to start? Yes. Now we actually don't need our markers first, so we'll put those off to the side and we're going to do our folding. We're going to take the top edge, fold it down to the bottom, and we do this on every folding surprise. Yeah. Because you need this to make it a surprise. Folding yeah, surprise. Yeah, fo <laughs> folding surprise. So I like lining up the bottom, folding down the middle, and then out to the edges or the corners and then let's take this top flap fold it back up to the top and if we ever go too fast what can our friends do pause the video yeah you guys can always pause the video if you need extra time then we're going to flip it over we're going to do one more fold we're going to take this flap and fold it up to the top down the middle and out to the edges now this this one is just going to be a guide fold so that we know where to draw and where not to draw. So we're going to open that back up and then flip it over. Because we're drawing with markers, we're going to use an extra sheet of paper to put underneath our drawing to protect our table. Now let's use our markers. We're going to first draw the elf when it's folded. We're just going to draw one elf right here. So let's draw his nose. We're going to draw it right above the fold in the middle of the paper. So I'm just going to draw a little a short U. <laughs> then let's draw his eyes. I'm going to draw ovals, one on each side. <laughs> then we could draw a smaller circle in the top. It looks like a smiley face. <laughs> it does. It, it, yeah, that <laughs> does kind of look like a smiley face. Then we're going to color in the oval, but leave the little circles white. Next, we're going to draw the shape of his face. We're going to draw two lines straight down that come from the top of his eye down to the fold. And we're going to do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to draw his chin. We're going to connect over here to the other side. On the left side over to the right. And we did a curved V or a U shape. Now let's draw his big smile. I'm going to draw a big smile like that. And then you can also even put little cheek lines in there too if you want. That's a happy elf. Yep. Now let's draw his ears. And we're going to draw his ears right close to the top of his, his head or this line on the side of his head. So we're going to draw a diagonal line going up on each side. And then we could draw a curve or a J line that comes down and connects to his cheek. What are we missing? His hat. His hat. Let's draw an elf hat. We're going to draw a curve over the top of his eyes. Now we're going to draw the top. This is the fuzzy part that goes along the bottom of his hat. We're going to draw a line that comes out of the top of his ear. And we could do the same thing on the other side too. And then let's draw another curve that connects those two lines. See how we drew it curved so it looks more 3D. Now let's draw the top or the little pom-pom on top of his hat. We're going to draw a circle off to the side. Then let's draw a big line that curves all the way over to the left side. And then we can draw another curve that curves down to the right side. All right, we got his head and his hat. We need to draw his body next. Yeah. Let's draw a simple body. We're going to draw the letter U. And then two lines that go across his belly for his belt. <laughs> then let's draw two lines down right in the middle for his buckle. All right, now let's draw his legs. We could draw two lines coming out on the left and also on the right. What's he missing? His feet. Yeah, his shoes, his elf shoes. So let's draw two lines connecting his legs. Then we're gonna draw his heel and we're gonna draw a line that comes down for his heel on each side. Now we're gonna draw the bottom of his elf shoes. We're gonna draw it coming out like this and then curving. And let's do the same thing on the other side, curve around. I just realized elf shoes kind of look like sleighs. Yeah, they kind of do. Yeah. The bottom of a sleigh, it's curved in the front. Now let's curve back and connect to the front of his shoe and do the same thing on the other side. That's pretty easy, right? Yeah. Now let, let's draw his arms. We're going to repeat the same steps we did for his legs. Two lines that come out on each side, one on the top and one on the bottom. Then let's also do a short line to connect those lines. And we're going to draw them with mittens. Yeah. And we're going to just draw a sideways U shape. Kind of looks like he has popsicles for 
Yeah. And if you want, you could add a thumb. But we're Where are those oven mitts? Uh, oven mitts, yeah. <laughs> Hit you with my oven mitts. <laughs> we did it. We finished our first elf. Now let's open up the surprise. Ah! And we got to connect. We got to draw all of the fun stuff in between the top of his head and the bottom of his body. So let's first finish the top elf. We're going to draw his chin, but this time we're going to change it. We're going to draw it a lot further down, and this is so we can draw this elf super happy because he's on top of the elf stack. Alright, let's draw his mouth. I'm going to draw a line that comes across, and then I'm going to draw a big J line that comes down and back up. Super happy. Let's give him teeth. I'm going to draw a line down and across for the top of his teeth. And then we could also draw teeth down here at the bottom. And then I'm going to color in or draw another line and then color in the left side. <laughs> he looks really, really happy. Yeah, he does. <laughs> now let's come down here and let's finish the head of the very bottom. We're going to draw his two eyes. Now remember this fold right here. We want to make sure that we draw everything above that fold. We're going to draw his, let's draw his nose first. We're going to draw another kind of U shape. And we'll draw the two ovals. <laughs> then let's draw the smaller circles inside for the highlight to make his eyes look shiny. And then color in the big oval. Next, let's draw the sides of his head. So let's draw lines that come up to the top of his eyes. And then let's draw his ears. So we're going to draw that diagonal line. Remember, it's close to the top of his head on each side. And then let's draw the J line that comes down and connects to his cheeks. <laughs> now let's draw that fuzzy part that's on the top of his head. So we're going to draw that curve that connects or goes over his eyes. I like turning my paper. Sometimes that makes oh, it yeah. easier to draw. Then I'm going to draw the two lines that come out of the top of his ears on each side. <laughs> and then let's connect those two lines also. Now, that's all we're going to draw on the top of this elf because we're going to overlap the elf that's in the middle. So we're going to leave that for the end. Let's draw the face for our third elf. And I'm going to draw him a little funnier. We're going to draw one eye right here. And I'm drawing it right about where that middle fold is. Yeah. And then I'm going to draw a circle on the top and color in the oval. And I'm only going to do this with one eye because we're going to draw this one winking, making a funny face. Then let's draw a sideways V. Oh, I forgot. We got to leave room for his nose. Let's add a nose in there. <laughs> and then I'm going to draw his mouth. Now we want to make sure that we're leaving enough room to draw the hat down here at the bottom. So we're just going to squeeze it in. I'm going to draw a little tongue sticking out. All right, now let's draw his head. We're going to draw. We're going to draw his chin that comes down like this and around and back up. <laughs> okay, and then we got to do the ears, right? So let's draw the two diagonal lines coming out the side. And they're really close to the top of his head. And then we'll do the J line that comes down, right? Is that the next yeah. step? And then what's after this? The hat. The hat. Let's draw that curve that goes over his eyes. And then the two lines that come out of his ears. Then we're going to connect those two lines also. Now we got all three of the faces except we're missing some of the details, right? So let's first draw the mittens for the top elf that's hanging on to the middle oh, elf. Yeah, the, mid the, middle, the middle one. one. Yeah, let's draw a U shape like this right next to his chin and right above the head. And then we can connect the top. And then let's do the same thing over here. I'm going to draw U shape and then connect the top. All right, now let's draw the elf hat. We're going to draw a line that comes up to the gloves. We're going to imagine it going through the hand, okay? And then it's going to come out the other side. Now we're going to come back over here and we're going to draw the other side of the hat. I'm going to draw a line that comes up to the glove and then connects to the head. Now we need that pom-pom, right? Yeah. Let's draw it sticking out and it's just going to be behind the cheek of this elf. <laughs> okay. All right, we did it. Now we need to draw the rest down here. So let's repeat the same steps. We're going to draw the mittens for the middle elf. So let's draw a curve or U, connect the top, and let's draw another curve over here or U and connect the top. Now we're going to repeat these same steps 
except we're gonna have the pom-pom or the top of the hat on the right side. So it goes right, left, right. So we'll draw a line that comes up, touches the glove, imagine it going behind the glove and then connecting to the cheek. And we'll do the same thing over here, connect to the glove and then we can also connect it to the cheek and then we're just gonna have that little part peeking out, the pom-pom peeking out on the cheek. Jack, we did it, we finished all three elves. I think it would be funny to add one more detail though. Let's add the legs for this top elf because he's super happy. We're gonna draw him sticking out to the side. Like he is really excited to be on the top. <laughs> he's like, whoa, I can yeah. see everything <laughs> from up here. This is the tallest I've ever been. Now we're gonna draw a line that connects the legs. And then let's draw the heel. And we're drawing it on the bottom. So it looks like the letter L. Then we're gonna draw the bottom of the L shoe curving up and we'll do the same thing over here, curving up. And then what's the next step? Curve it back. Curve it back, yep. Back into his leg on both sides. All right, we did it. We finished our L's. It looks really cool. Now we still need to do one last thing. What is it? Color it. Color it. Now this part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end, remember, you can pause it if you wanna match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Jack, good job, man. You did awesome on coloring. I love how they look all folded up. You can only see one elf, but then, well then one, two, two three, 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 Merry, Merry Christmas, Merry three Christmas. elves. Three elves. <laughs> Now we usually draw other stuff in here in the folding surprise area, uh, like Christmas lights, you could do snowflakes and presents. Yeah. What was your idea? A conveyor belt and then presents on the conveyor belt. I love it. You could have that conveyor belt back behind there and then the presents traveling along. Yeah. That would be way awesome. Now we left it blank because... Challenge time! <laughs> We want to challenge you guys to complete your drawing by adding your own folding surprise next to the elves or behind it. Come up with something really cool and then parents take a photo of your child's finished artwork and then post it to Instagram and use two tags, AFKH Challenge and at Art for Kids Hub. Art for Kids Hub. Second one notifies us and lets us know that you posted something. We want to see how cool your drawings are when they're all finished. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.